I'm going to give you a method to spawn an absolute ton of random events. As you can see here, I'm in a level 75 zone, the Bower system. I have a sensor contact, sensor contact. This is a trader. If you're in New Game Plus, you're definitely going to want this if you haven't met it yet. We have a derelict ship, which is amazing. I have a glitch in the pinned comment where you can infinitely farm a derelict ship. And here we have another sensor contact. I'm actually not sure what that logo is. Let's go ahead and go to, oh, let's take a look at this, uh, this. We'll, we'll go to this sensor contact, but I'm not familiar with the logo. Just to show that it will do one and then we can reset the different events in the area. So here we are. Looks like there's a shipping container. Is that, is this just like wreckage maybe? Okay, maybe. I'm actually not used, I don't, I don't know this event image, so there's just ship parts there. Okay, that's weird. Um, wait, what was that? Yeah, I, I, I guess that was it. Just, uh, parts in the sky. I don't know. Let's go over to the derelict ship and farm that real quick. So I, I want to make sure I show that it resets in case we do respawn some of these because you can get the same random event sometimes in the same area. And the, um, by the way, the, I'll see, I'll see now that's gone. The SOS up here, the distress call, that was just emptied out. That was cleared out. That was a fake call. Um, so here we are with the derelict ship. Let's go up. As I said, if you want to know how to infinitely farm this derelict ship for credits and resources, check out the end comment. I'll put it there. Um, that's another reason you want to do this. If you want to play around with that glitch, you're going to have to get yourself some derelict ships. If you can get two derelict ships spawned in one system, or two boardable ships in one system, um, you should be able to ping pong between them. So I can't go in there. Um... Oh, okay. All right. We got some ship maggots. Hey. So there'll be um, some slates and stuff you can check out in these, which I uh, think those are actually a really cool story. I don't know the story of this particular ship, but I did have another ship that had uh, ship maggots and an interesting story. I want to, if I can, Requires a key. I wanted to check out the captain's locker, but uh, I guess it doesn't really matter that much. What I'll do is I'll drop myself a quick save here and just leave. That way you can know we've been here. You'll know it, and that's the important part. So let's go ahead and get back to our ship and undock just so we know we've been to that event. All right, and I'm not going to go down to the trader because I know what that one's going to be. It just always seems to be there, at least for now, for me. Uh, I'm going to go all the way over to another star system far away. You probably could do one closer, but this is just what I've been doing. Pick a random planet, set your course, and jump. I've also done this by sleeping on Venus for six hours, and that also seems to do a reset. Uh, I don't know if it does a reset in a different way. That's going to require more testing on my part. I'm just very time limited, and I'm going to be honest, I've played a little bit of Lies of P. Also, as you can see here, we're now getting a bunch of different events here from me going back and forth, which I find interesting. So now that we've done that, we can go all the way back to here. And if we look, you're going to see the exact same um, events almost. So this is a sensor contact. This is no longer that derelict ship. This is a sensor contact. So let's just jump straight to that. This is a different sensor contact in the same area. 
And as you can see, this looks very different. And what is this? So now we have a settler space ox. We could hail. Well, that's a fancy ship. Eh. Nothing I'm interested in. Nothing's really popping in. Nothing with my sensors. So I'm just bored with this area. So as you can see, this one's reset. And sometimes when you pop into one like that, like right here, now we have hostile activity over here. And now we'll go to this uh, distress call. Let's see what's going on there. Here we are. Sometimes distress calls are empty or like bad guys warp in. I'm not really sure why distress, distress calls particularly seem to be empty. Maybe they don't reset as much. Maybe this is something would reset better if you did it with like resting on Venus. Added resting to it. But as I said, we have a whole new activity right here. We can check it out. And I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. There you go. And there would have been a dogfight, and what I could do here, if I wanted to, using the method in the pinned comment, is I could disable the ships, and I should be able to um, repeatedly go into them. Sometimes they seem to disappear, and sometimes they don't whenever you have a hostile thing, but I've noticed that with distress calls, the ship stays, so maybe it's like you see ships don't disappear but they have it coded where the other ships are supposed to, and sometimes they don't. It's just a whole weird thing. But if you're trying to farm events, and, uh, like, I can't do it during combat, but if you're trying to farm events, that's how I've been doing it. Um, if you want to test out a different method, try resting on Venus, and let me know in the comments how that differs for you. Um, I found it to feel about the same. Um, my big goal today, and I kind of failed... I was hoping to find, if it was possible, two derelict ships in one system and a high-level system and farm back and forth, or something like that where I could make like a new farming method that could just like give you high-tier resources and credits and you could just ping-pong back and forth, but didn't work out. I did find a ship, and I don't have any footage of it. I forgot to record. I found a ship that what was refreshing wasn't the captain's locker or the cargo. It was actually an enemy. And it was a legendary enemy, so I was getting some legendary gear a couple times. And then eventually that body disappeared and or moved to a different part of the ship. Because it was spawning in weird. Maybe it spawned that time outside the ship. Um, but yeah, this is just random events. So, I mean, if you're like me, I played through a lot of the game. Got to New Game Plus, And there were a lot of random events I'd never seen. Like that one that I put down the auto save for that I'm going to go back for. Because I've not done that one. I haven't seen that before. I also haven't seen, um, of course, the Trader, which is New Game Plus only. So just trying to give you guys some activities and help you get them faster so you don't have to, like, grind for 100 hours to see the random events.